Hello happy people, this is Carpenter with RV Crazy. So today I wanted to show you a little bit of a stereo system that I installed in my RV. It's pretty basic, but I'm thinking about possibly adding two more sets of speakers so that I would have six speakers total. Right now, I have these Bose, um, I'm not sure what they call them, Acousta Mass. They're, they're from like a Bose system and I got the speakers for free. Uh, what I like about them is that they can swivel around wherever and then I put them on these mounts that I got from Amazon that I could also swivel and aim wherever I want. Um, they, that basically allows me for when I have my TV either facing towards the front of the RV or towards the back of the RV because I can face my TV wherever I want and that allows me to have the front sound stage wherever I want it. So, you know, if I'm watching a movie from the back or from the front, I can always have the front speakers facing towards me. And what I'm wanting to do, though, is add two sets of rear speakers. One mounted all the way in the front of the RV, and then one set all the way in the back up by those lights. And that'll just make a real good surround sound in the RV. Um, I don't know, that's kind of what I envision would be a good setup. And, you know, I just wanted something basic for the RV. Here's what I have for a head unit. It's just a Kenwood with Bluetooth and everything. And, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, a basic head unit, costs about 100 bucks, and it works great for this setup. I do have a subwoofer installed, which is a low profile, very small subwoofer, and I will uh, show it to you in a second. So my subwoofer I have installed underneath this seat here. Let's see if I can show it to you with one hand. Ooh. So there is the little subwoofer. I did have to make a mount for it, as you can see, because I want it to be solid mounted instead of vibrating on top of my heater. But being that it's in here with all of this other stuff, it definitely does make some stuff vibrate. And so it's not 100% the best quality sound as there is some vibration going on, but I'm hoping that some Dynamat type material might help to take out some of it. I'm not really too hopeful, but you know, I, I really enjoy it just even as is. It, it does have that vibration, like I said, but it, it sounds all right. So I'll show you a little bit of what it sounds like with all the vibration and stuff. Of course, you won't be able to get the effect of the subwoofer unless you actually have a subwoofer of your own, but here's a little taste. So as you can see, there is a little bit of vibration, but it's not too bad. Um, it definitely still gives me that good sound that I'm wanting. I still am obviously thinking about the speakers front and back, but for now, I'm, you know, really happy with this because I didn't have a stereo back here before other than the one that's in the cab, which isn't really, you know, the best to run. I thought about installing the deck up there and utilizing my six by nine speakers that are up in the top, but it just wasn't gonna be a system that I was gonna be happy with. So that's why I went this route. And so for, for running my cables, since I'm sure some people are gonna ask, I basically went up into here and then there's a, just a, you know, you just take out the wall sections basically. So there's just, you know, thin eighth inch wall sections. You take it out and then you staple it back in place or screw it in place or whatever. And from there, um, you can't see it through this one because I got all my storage. But in here, you can see that there is a wire chase back behind here. 
And so you just unscrew all of this and there's a wire chase. You can run all those wires through there. And you can see this one I just ran through here because I failed to install the wire in here when I took out my fridge. But the one coming over to this side, I have running through the ceiling, up through here, there's a wire chase going to the air conditioner unit. And then all the way to the other side, there's this own, another wire chase. And so I did have to use a fish tape for that, but you know, got the wire all the way over here, drilled the hole, and you know, that's why this one looks so much better. But, oh well, I'll deal with it. And yeah, the subwoofer I also have through all the wire chases back behind the fridge, underneath, and then into that cubby. But yeah, a nice little system for getting some good audio in my RV. Talk to y'all later and have a great day. Bye.